Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing Man Eater. This is an Unreal Engine 4 game and as such, the options menu will look very familiar if you play many Unreal Engine 4 games. So the ones I would change to improve performance right away would be Shadows, Effects and Post Processing. Those three are the most important ones if you want to change the numbers drastically. On this one in particular, especially Effects. Since in those moments where effects show up is when the game suffered the most in the performance department. When you're lunging out of the water and attacking a ship, people or something, the water splashes, blood splatter, all that happening at the same time. Plus if there's a ship on fire or something, really push the GPU quite a bit, which makes the game be very variable on the frame rate side. So my recommendation on that is that if you target for example 60 frames per second, is to cap the frame rate to that number, since if not, when you look to some place, for example, you jump into the water, you might get like 100 frames per second or something like that, then you look into the distance, you get like 80, and then you're attacking something and you drop into the upper 50s, low 60s, so the game will feel very variable, consider just locking the frame rate to the one you want, because the difference in frame rate can be quite jarring. Then the texture option, I recommend lowering it if you have 3 gigs of VRAM or less. If you have 4 gigs of VRAM or more, just keep it on the highest option. Then if you want a few extra FPS apart from the options I mentioned, lower foliage and view distance. It depends on the level that you are, but in general it can give you a few extra frames. Not a huge difference, but worth mentioning if you need the extra performance. And despite the game having options for full screen, windowed full screen and windowed mode, it seems to be writing on some borderless full screen way. It's kinda weird. I put it on full screen, but the game doesn't seem to be in actually on full screen. You can press the Windows key and the menu will pop up, like it was a borderless full screen. So I'm not sure what's up with that. On the CPU side of things, if you have a modern quad core CPU, you should be able to hit 60 frames per second with some spikes in the frame time, especially in those moments where you are looking at places with less detail and you get higher FPS. That's why I also recommend to cap the frame rate to 60, so you don't get those huge spikes on the frame time graph. So yeah, it can be 60 if your GPU can handle it, but expect some spikes every now and then when you're completing objectives or the game is saving the progress. Still a completely playable experience, but if you have something like a 6 core CPU, it should be more stable in general. But overall it seems to be running okay, considering what it's shown on screen. Just make sure to lower effects if you get those huge drops when attacking ships or people. But yeah guys, that's about it. I hope you keep enjoying the video, thanks for watching and see you next time. simply does what it does, devoid of premeditation or malice. That shark needs a good whack on their nose. Go get him, Chad. How you doing there, shark?
Now it is well known that sharks feed on mollusks, fish, and seals. Less discussed is their propensity to feed on fear. Nominal muscles to hold them in place, the shark's intestines become ungainly out of water. that this sort of targeted violence is quite unusual for a shark. That shark needs a good whack on their nose. Go get him, Chad. How you doing there, shark? On display in a marine park stunt show. The full speed is astounding for a large marine predator. A breaching shark is a rare, calorie intensive spectacle. Cosmic sights like this seem to suggest we may truly be living in the end times. It is well known that sharks feed on mollusks, fish, and seals. Less discussed is their propensity to feed on food. that this sort of targeted violence is quite unusual for a shark. That shark needs a good whack on their nose. Go get him, Chad. How you doing there, shark? Kenny, knock 
back for sure. 